First and foremost, I want to wish you all a happy Easter if you celebrate. And otherwise, I hope you guys are having just a good weekend if you don't. Uh, today's video is a little bit different, but not all that different. We're going to talk about the next upcoming characters, potentially, and my predictions for the rest of the month of April. So sit tight. This is going to be a fun one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Today's video like goal is going to be 800. Let me know in the comments down below two things. Who's the next LF and who's the next Ultra in your opinion? So I hope you guys enjoy. And here we go. So... To get things started, we had the announcement for the Majin Buu Saga campaign. Two things I want to say about that. They're not going to announce a campaign without making the campaign, you know, have high rarity premium characters. <laughs> so there's that. As you would imagine, that is me saying that the next upcoming big character releases like LF slash Ultras will be Majin Buu Saga characters. And then next off of that, I really do think it's time we got another villain Ultra. Uh, we just got one in Rosé, but still there are very few and far between. Most of them are all hero characters. I mean, that's typically how it's gonna go for the most part in this game actually there's a few there's broly uh, you know hits an antagonist a little bit uh rose yeah but still you get my point it's gonna it's gonna be how it goes for the most part because this is it's dragon ball there's more you know heroes than there is bad guys i guess i guess uh moving on so the the key thing i want to say is when we look at the majin buu saga we actually already have an uh, ultra character from that saga coincidentally enough so, if the initial ultra from that saga is Super Vegito, I don't think it's a hot take. I don't think it's outlandish. I don't think it's crazy to say that we will be getting a new Buhan this month. Okay, that is my first prediction. We will be getting a new Buhan to match that Ultra Super Vegito that we just got. That is the, the, e the easy answer. And also, it's especially easy when you look at the list of actual characters that could qualify for that ranking, right? Now, when is an Ultra going to come out anyway? So the first thing I want to say is there is most likely going to be an LF release next week. Okay, we'll talk about an LF in a minute. And then two weeks after that, which will be the end of the month, there will be an Ultra release. That is a typical schedule that we've been having for this year and the last few months. So that is what I'm predicting. Again, we haven't talked about an LF, but I do think we're going to get an Ultra that is most likely going to be Buhan. For the record, we haven't talked about the LF, but Buhan could be that too. I mean, it kind of, it, it's either, it, it's really a toss up. They're both premium type characters. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So low rate, low pull rate characters, it could, it could fit the bill. D are you guys interested in a Buhan? Do you think there's another version of Majin Buu you would like? And also I want to say like when it comes to Buu, they could actually get kind of creative and go, oh, here's here's Super Boo, but he'll transform. You know what I want to see one day? I want to see multi-transform characters in this game where they go through multiple forms. I know it could be kind of tricky to, to work, you know, with timer count, restrictions, and stuff like that. But it would be it would just be so cool if we had a Boo Han, or a Boo that went from Boo to Boo Tanks to Boo Han. That would be so awesome to see that at some point. And then you can also say, like, Goku going Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3. Dude, that, that, that scene reenacted in Legends, but obviously super quickly because we don't want to take all all day in this game uh that would be really really cool all right so yeah let me know if you guys think that would do another version of majin buu for the record we haven't had a premium majin buu since kid buu's lf which was uh, he's about two years old now so it's been a while uh and then other than that there's not ever been a premium majin buu they <laughs> they had like we've had characters that released at at premium times like this guy came out during the anniversary but there hasn't been you know so it's kind of uh kind of thing that we're looking at right now for the record you could say the same thing about villains from other sagas too right uh anyways moving on so i do think that buhan will be the the top of the list uh, in terms of what we get for the next character towards the end of the month that will be an ultra and like i was saying a moment ago when you look at the actual list of characters that could even fit that bill it's not all that high it's a boo variant whether it's kid boo or or buhan or i guess you could say fat boo too i, I it's, it's a boo variant is one what else could they really do ultimate gohan i wouldn't i would not be opposed to that go tanks goku super saiyan 3 maybe 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 a, a you are number one vegeta goku combo tag character that's something that they could potentially do that will spoiler uh you know potentially be on my list in a minute we'll, we'll get to that but like there's not really much else here that they haven't done already in super vegito he was the big ticket like if we didn't have super vegito and this campaign was announced he would be the most obvious ultra release ever right so there's not really a lot i mean you could do majin vegeta i guess but i don't think that's happening either so moving on i do think that's what's going to happen now um 
my second best guess would be Ultimate Gohan. If it isn't Buhan, I think Ultimate Gohan is the next best guess. I think that Ultimate Gohan had the significance of him in that saga being the strongest non-fused character, uh, being the, one of the most iconic characters from that part of the series as well, uh, being Gohan as well. I, I just I think that he deserves, and he doesn't even have, Ultimate Gohan doesn't even have much representation in this game either. I think that he deserves at least an LF at some point. You can you could really do some fun stuff with that Gohan. He was such a badass when he popped up. I would love to see that at one point, but I think he's the next best guess for a uh, Ultra other than some sort of Boo variant. So again, yeah, my top guess is Buhan. It could also be Kid Boo. I, I don't think so, but it could be Kid Boo. It could be Fat Boo. It could be regular Super Boo. I doubt it would be Go Gotenks absorbed, but I guess. <laughs> so those are my two choices, Buhan and Ultimate Gohan. All right. So what would we be getting for a potential LF? First thing I want to say for an LF is those characters I just mentioned also qualify for LFs. I'd be cool with that. You know, the funny thing about LFs is they are the, the real premium characters, right? Ultras, <sighs> Ultras are a new rarity, and that rarity has been treated as a premium, but it's not really the premium because they have some differences with them versus regular sparkings that's fair animation differences but they don't have the the, the finish on them they don't have the 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 aspects to them that you would think would make them premium so really they're just a new rarity um so when it comes down to it you can get a lot more flashy stuff with the lfs right so buhan would be awesome as an lf um but i want to throw out a few different candidates first and foremost Gotenks. I, I really do think, similar to Gohan, being one of the more iconic characters from that part of the series. By the way, the first character we see, other than, I guess, Piccolo, right? Uh, right? It's, it's a different kind of fusion, but the first real fusion that we're really seeing in the series, that's uh, that's awesome to see, man. Like, I would like to see more representation for this character. You know, we move on from there. We start seeing some other other characters like Vegito and Gogeta, etc. Um, but anyways, Gotenks, I think, definitely deserves it. And Go Gotenks doesn't actually have a, a relevant character. I mean, all of Gotenks' characters are, Zen are, are, are pending Zenkais. Like, they're all bad. Every single one of them. Outdated, old, bad. Now, Red was really good. Yellow was really good. These other three were kind of meh. But yeah, Gotenks definitely deserves it, I think. Majin Vegeta already has an LF, so he's off the list. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, again, already has an LF. Is there possibility, though, for a tag character to come out? If there is a tag, it would most likely be, it could be something else like Goten and Trunks, but come on, they're not doing that, right? It would be Goku and Vegeta. And if they do Goku and Vegeta for the record, I would actually, I know this isn't how it played out, but I would actually really like to see Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Vegeta simply because, simply because I really like those forms and obviously Majin Vegeta Super Saiyan 2, so they could just do Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Goku, that's fine. But simply because we don't have Super Saiyan 2 representation in this game. It's just a weird form. Like, okay, Gohan really was really, really powerful. There's a Majin Vegeta now. But like Super Saiyan 2, there's like no good Super Saiyan 2 Goku, for example. This form sucks in this game. It always has. I mean, I don't want to say always because, you know, a couple times. But that's only one character, you know what I'm saying? So I would like to see that personally uh, in terms of what I would like to see. But other than that, I mean, high, high, high chance. If you get an LF and it's a tag, it's Goku and Vegeta. I would not sleep on that because that is the most likely scenario. And also, I want to give you guys this insight as well. We don't get a ton of tag characters, obviously. We have, what, a handful of them? It's like a handful, right? But, but this time last year, I believe April last year, we can double check really quick. I believe April last year dropped a banner that had two tag characters on it. By saying that, you know, obviously, which one I'm talking about. But I believe that was April of last year. Let's double check live. And you know, I and this game are both suckers for patterns. This game is riddled with patterns. It always has been. They always, you know, telegraph what they're doing. They tell you what you're doing, what they're doing way in advance. And that is one of the easiest ways because they literally, here it is, they literally look at their previous, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not telling you this from, from knowledge, but it feels like, yeah, April 19th of last year. Duh. <laughs> but it feels like they look at their pattern and say, oh, we did this last year. Let's just copy paste and, you know, make this happen here in little small tweaks. So I wouldn't be surprised if we got two tags. But at the bare minimum, one tag is happening. 
last year we got a tag at this exact same time. Now, there wasn't a full-on campaign, I don't believe, as well. So even more credence. They're going to definitely make this feel premium. We are getting a tag character with a really nice finish. <laughs> so what else could it be? It could be Gotenks and Piccolo. But we know that ain't happening. We know that ain't happening. Okay, so really, really, there's only a few choices for LFs. I'm going to just, uh, I think they're going to do what they did last year and drop a tag. And if it's a tag, I think there's really only one choice. It's it's Boo and Hercule. So <laughs> I'm going to conclude there, guys. Let me know what you guys think we're getting for this Majin Boo campaign. Again, I think Boo, Boo Han or, or Gohan will be the prime ultra. Dude, what I wouldn't give for an ultra Gohan. Dude, what I wouldn't give for an ultra Gohan. All right, guys. Have an awesome day. Happy Easter. And I'll see you in the, in the next one, guys. Take it easy.